Let's talk about using a JFIT as a switch. We're going to use a J113. Here it is here. It's got drain source and gate. And this is what it looks like over here. We've got a, a gate, a drain, and a source on a piece of end material. And these the gate's tied to two pieces of P material. If this gate goes more negative than the source, this region will close off, uh, cutting off the current flow. So in a spec sheet, we need to know that the, uh, the drain source voltage is 40 volts. This on resistor is going to be about 100 ohms. And it can dissipate 400 uh, milliwatts. And this gate source voltage, the voltage we're going to apply to the gate, can only be uh, a maximum of minus 3 volts. The only thing we need to know to uh, uh, make a switch is that the, uh, the gate source voltage, when the gate source voltage is 0, max current flows. And when the gate voltage is more negative than the, the source voltage, no current will flow. So over here we've got a an LED. We've got our ammeter going through the uh, from the drain to the source. Now we've got the the gate and the source tied together. So the uh, this gate source voltage is going to be zero. They're shorted out. Max current is going to flow through here. Now the max current that can flow through here is going to be about uh, 12 milliamps. These things can uh, limit the current. They're used for uh, as a current limiting device. Uh, of course. Uh, the way it's set up right now, we're going to exceed our 400 milliwatts because there's no resistance in here. Uh, but if you want to use it as a uh, constant current source, you can add a resistance in here, and this is the, the formula to do that. Uh, we, I talked about that in another video. We're going to use it as a switch. So we're going to put 12 volts in, and we're going to come through our uh, LED here, and then, uh, then through the uh, JFET, and back down to the negative rail here. So we're going to drop 2.2 volts across the LED, 5.9 volts across the uh, FET, and it's going to come down and drop another 3.7 volts across this Zener diode here, and that adds up to our 12 volts here. And in this loop here we've got our 4.7K resistor, and that's going to drop uh, 8.3 volts, and then that plus the uh, 3.7 volts here is act, adds up to our 12 volts here. Now. I don't want to take the gate and the source and tie them directly together uh, because if I do that I can't won't be able to add uh, make this gate go uh, more negative than the source because it'll be shorted together so I'm going to use a 10k resistor when there's no uh, voltage applied to the gate then this 10k will bring this thing down and these things will be uh, uh, at zero be the same voltage across them now we need to apply uh, you know, maximum of th minus three volts to the gate. So, if you want to do that, we can do it with just an ex external power supply or a, say a, a three volt battery. You can take the positive side of the battery, put it here, and the negative side onto the gate. That will close this region off and shut this thing down and turn off our LED. Uh, I want to do it with the same same power source here, so that's why we added this uh, this Zener diode in here, 3.7 volt Zener. Uh, I could have used a 3.3 or you know 2.9 or something, but uh, I had this one, so we're going to use it. Uh, what happens here is that uh, I'm dropping 3.7 volts across the Zener, so that when I close this switch here, I'm dropping that across the uh, 10K, and I'm, this gate is going to be more negative than the uh, the source, and that's going to turn off the uh, turn off the uh, FET here. So. I'm dropping uh, 5.9 volts across the uh, the FED at 100 ohms, so that's 348 milliwatts. So we're still within our our limit here of our uh, dissipation. So that's how it's going to work. Just uh, very simple. You apply more uh, negative voltage to the gate than the source. We'll turn it off. We'll see. We'll see how. See if it works here. You see, I got the LED on. And uh, yeah, there we go. Making that gate uh, more negative than the uh, source turns it off. So that's our our switch. And uh, the drain and source can be interchanged. In fact, when I hooked it up the first time, I had it uh, the other way around. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, but uh, that's a uh, 
using a FET as a switch. They're probably not uh, good for switching, but, uh, or, you know, as a switch like this, they're, they're good for uh, amplifiers and that. But uh, that's how it works. Thank you.